You're listening to the Aggie News Student Podcast, a series by the orientation staff at Utah State University. Transitioning to college is exciting, but there's a lot to do and understand. We're here to talk you through it. I'm your host, Kylie Hopkin, the Orientation Program Coordinator here at USU, and we're so excited to have you join us. Hello, everybody. Okay, today we are joined by my friend and colleague, Isaiah Jones from the Student Orientation Office. Isaiah, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Kylie. Great. <laughs> I'm pretty happy to be here. I'm happy to have you here. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Absolutely. So my name is Isaiah Jones. I'm the Transition and Parent Program Coordinator here at Utah State University, and I'm going into my third year, which still shocks me because a year happened in between called 2020. All right. Well, I am excited for you to be here and really excited for our topic today because while my focus is always on the student side of things, Isaiah's is primarily on parents and they are such an important part of our Aggie family and community. We're lucky to have Isaiah and all the work that he does to help parents and families feel welcome and supported in sending their student to Utah State. We often think about that transition and the challenges that come for incoming students when they come to college, they make those tough decisions and start that part of their life. But we forget that that's also a challenging time and has a lot of curveballs thrown at parents and a transition that parents have to go through as well. And like I said, we're, we're lucky to have Isaiah and the work that he does. There are a lot of resources for parents and families. Isaiah, tell us about some of those resources that parents have here at Utah State. Yeah, great points and great question, as always, Kylie. So thank you for that. The, the first big resource for parents is our website. So just usu.edu forward slash parents. That's really your one-stop shop for all of our primary resources. And there, of course, you know, you'll see information about our parent orientation. If there's a pandemic of sorts, we'll have an info session. So you can click that too. Um, we also have our Spanish speaking orientation, which I believe, Kelly, we're going in our second, third year of that. We just wrapped up year three. Wow. Yeah. yeah so we just back. wrapped up year three of that. And we did, I guess, four, if you count 2020 and kind of the modified resources we provided that year. So well, there you have it. And then of course we have all of our parent publications. So that's primarily our um, Aggie parent handbook and our Aggie parent and family podcast, which is the brother or sister podcast to this one. And uh, on that site as well, we have information about the leaving and returning process. So if you've just graduated from high school or newly admitted, that's the deferment people. And then if you've been at USU for a semester or more, that's our notification of leave process. Also on our website, you'll find a lot about our Aggie Parent and Family YouTube channel, which hasn't quite blown up how I've wanted to, Kylie, but I'm hoping in the next, after this recording, the subscriptions increase by at least 20%. And then of course we have our Aggie Parent and Family Network. So you'll see a giant blue button on the website uh, and there you'll learn more about how to sign up for that. Although most of you should be in the portal already when you are in the perspective phase with your student. And then lastly, on the website, we have a lot of information about our Aggie Parent and Family Weekend. So I think we'll get into that here shortly. Absolutely. And you might be sitting there wondering, why are you talking about all of these parent resources? This is the student podcast. Isaiah just mentioned we've got a parent podcast. And what he didn't tell you is that he is the host over there and does a fantastic job with that. But we we want you to know as students that there are resources for your parents. And he just talked about so many of them. We want your parent involved in whatever capacity that looks like for you and them and whatever works best for both parties combined. I do want to talk though about our parent and family weekend because that is a really fun opportunity for you to invite your parents to campus and show them around and show them this place that hopefully is becoming a little bit home to you. And Isaiah, you run this parent and family meet weekend. What is it? Tell us about it. What do students and their parents need to know about Aggie Parent and Family Weekend. Yeah, so Aggie Parent and Family Weekend, the, the big thing about it is it's an awesome opportunity to you to connect with me, of course, but also your students. And it's at midpoint of the semester, right? So we'll be in October this year. It'll be October the 22nd and 23rd. So 
The 22nd is the actual USU football homecoming game. And then the 23rd, we'll have a breakfast in the the uh, library here on campus on the Logan campus and kind of tied into what I was saying about resources, but also parent family weekend is the main thing is we want to help you find intentional ways to engage with your student to help them be successful. And I think throughout the course of all of this, you, you've probably realized that you too are a part of our Aggie family. And if you're a student listening, that your parent or guardian or delegate or whoever's listening really uh, they are here to support you, and they're also a part of our family. And so Aggie Parent and Family Weekend is an extension of those resources, and it's an awesome opportunity to help find ways that your parent and guardian and family can engage in ways that can help support you and help you thrive here at USU. So like Isaiah said, this Parent and Family Weekend for the 2021-2022 academic year is October 22nd through 23rd. And he mentioned, right, tailgate, football game, breakfast in the library the next day. There's things specific to Parent and Family Weekend that he puts on. He puts a lot of work into this, but it is also homecoming. And so that means there's even more activities. There's great things in the community you can participate in. There's going to be a parade and different activities with homecoming that same weekend as well. So a lot of things to do and a lot of things to experience as students and families and delegates and guardians, right? All of these different um, situations, whatever your support looks like, we want you to invite them to come up and join us for this weekend. And kind of a little bit on that note, Isaiah, what type of things can students and parents expect if they decide, yeah, I want to come to Parent Family Weekend? Yeah, great. So everything I'm about to say, I don't know if you listen to Kylie and I while you're working out, but don't hurt yourself. This will all be available in the show notes. Uh, the first thing is that we have reserved stalls 199 to 203. Again, that won't mean anything to you while you're on the run, but that means that we will have very nice tents outside of the football sta stadium, Maverick Stadium, uh, where we'll be together and handing out food and some Aggie swag. And on our website and also in the Aggie Parent and Family Portal, you'll find quick links to get discounts on parent merch. But the main thing we'll be doing is, again, hanging out at that tailgate on the 22nd from 4.30 until about seven o'clock and kickoff for the football game. And that, for those who don't follow football, kickoff is when the game starts. But uh, yeah, when once kickoff starts at 7.30, you're welcome to go in. But prior to that, we'll get together, we'll mingle, we'll have conversations. The next thing about Aggie Parent Family Weekend as far as when and where, so that's the 22nd, so that's at Maverick, the Maverick Football Stadium. The next day, the 23rd at 10 a.m., we'll meet, we'll have a wonderful intro from our USU Quartet over in our King College of the Arts, and they'll be playing like our fight song and our alma mater, and there you'll be able to get some breakfast, donuts, drinks, things like that, another opportunity to mingle before you head out or leave USU. So again, that's the 23rd. And did I answer everything, Kylie? Signups are on the website. That's yeah, the so we've got signups so that we can know how many people to plan for. And you can just let Isaiah know. One of the things he talked about earlier was our parent and family network. And if the link to get signed up is going to be in the show notes, if you're not already signed up, do it. That is where like timely updates and information about all of this is going to land and be put out for you all to know. You also can reach out to Isaiah anytime and I'll make sure his contact information is in the show notes as well. It's a fun time. It's a really, really fun time and we enjoy having you here. Like you said, get some swag, come tailgate with us, come to the library, right? Enjoy more of a chill Saturday morning and then check out some of the things that the community and campus have to offer. Why is this important, Isaiah? Why do we have a parent and family weekend and why should students invite or encourage their parents and families to attend? Yeah, great question. I've put a lot of thought into that. And I think the biggest thing is both connecting and belonging connecting to our institution, connecting to our programs, connecting to your student, 
but also having that sense of belonging, right? So I always say at the admission stage, they did everything to get you here. At the SOTS or student orientation phase, we do everything to keep you here and help you thrive. And then one day, alumni will reach out to you, trust me. They send me lots of amazing emails. But one day they will reach out to you and say, hey, we still wanna hang out with you. But all of that starts here. And so we want to make sure that you feel connected, but also that you get to know us on a personal level. And so it's not just Utah State University. It's also, you'll start to put names to the institution. So again, connecting and belonging, those are the big things. And obviously Parent and Family Weekend is a great time because that there we'll be able to eat together, talk. We can still answer very practical questions for you. We can give you some ideas. Of course, at that point, you're at the sort of midterm level. So if your student has questions or they're struggling or they're even thriving, um, they have questions about advising, anything like that, um, we're able to answer those for you when we're just in the middle. And of course, we're here and we're on campus. And so we're also there for you. If you have any other questions about the community, and then again, on the website, we'll put some links to all the things that are going on around town. But again, all of that with the primary goal of helping you feel uh, like you're connecting to us and the institution, and also that you're seeing that you are a member of the Aggie family. I think that if you take nothing else away from this podcast episode, I hope that you know that whether you're a student or a parent and family member of a student, you matter to Utah State. And that's why we do this. And it's why even though you're in your first semester, we're still putting out podcast episodes and we're still staying in touch and reaching out and trying to connect you with uh, all of the resources, all the activities, all of the opportunities here at Utah State. Uh, Your parents and families are very much a part of that. And it is so fun and so neat to see my probably my favorite part of parent family weekend is to see the first semester students or any students right because this isn't just for incoming students parent and family weekend you can be a senior and invite your family up and that's great we want them to come but to see students showing their parents family members support system whatever that looks like for you showing them around campus and around Cache Valley and your favorite places. And you kind of start to make this place your own and you find here's where I like to study and here's where I like to eat. And here's my favorite building or my favorite classes in this spot on campus. And when you get to share that with your support system, that's such a cool experience for me to get to kind of observe it all. So we are excited and we hope that you uh, come and we hope that you have a good time and spend some time with us. Isaiah, just kind of as we wrap things up, any final parting words from you for our first semester students and their families? Yeah, keep on. It sounds like y'all are doing great from all the all the Twitter updates from the university. And uh, if you're on the herd, well done. I've heard good things. Uh, but the main thing is for, for parents and for students, really, just make sure you're staying engaged at this point. And all the way kind of leading up to Parent and Family Weekend, again, October 22nd and 23rd, I'm going to be putting out a lot of updates on the Aggie Parent and Family Network, right, or any changes that come, updates to policies, anything like that. And also just keeping an eye out on your email. And I think the same is true for students. As things change, uh, as things improve, or things are added to the list, or for instance, today we found out exactly where we'll be in the, you know, sort of the tailgating circle of friends. You'll want to make sure you're keeping an eye out on all of your primary contact information and on the Aggie Parent and Family Network. That's where we're going to be putting a lot of information. And then, of course, leading up to it, both of our podcasts, the Aggie New Student Podcast and the Aggie Parent and Family Podcast, we'll be putting up a lot of kind of tips and tricks for how to thrive for midterms and how to think about those things. And if you're a parent or delegate or family member, how to support your student in that process leading up to the end of the semester. So just stay connected, keep an eye out on all of your primary information and I'll 
you'll hear from me shortly. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Isaiah. As always, you can follow us at USU A Team on Instagram, email us at orientation at usu.edu. We are here to help. Uh, I'd encourage you to go back and listen to other episodes of the podcast. Both the student and the parent podcasts have some fantastic content on them. Stay tuned for more episodes to come and very truly reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you next time. Thanks and go Aggies. Go Aggies.